Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. I got to be down here low because Fish yells at me when I get too loud. Uh, and we just want to, before we get into the podcast today, we want to talk about our sponsor this month. Our sponsor is a returning sponsor and good friends at Figurosity. Figurosity.com is a website where you can go and check out their custom made 3D models of all body shapes, styles, dressed, undressed, different body shapes, ninja weapons, dancing, whatever. And you can do your figure drawing right from the website. Uh, it is free to a certain extent. And then there's also a, a paywall that allows you access to more content. You can change the angle of the camera on the model. You can change the lighting. It's a phenomenal website. Great stuff. Great way to hone your art skills. And also, uh, because Figurosity is great people, they gave us a coupon code. And when I said, well, what is the coupon code? They said, how about Chicken Smuggler? And I'm like, great, let's do that. So the coupon code this month is Chicken Smuggler. We'll get you $5 off your purchase, which essentially is a free month because it's a little over $5 a month. So uh, thank you to Figurosity for giving our listeners a free month of online 3D modeled figure drawing. And uh, so make sure you check it out, Figurosity.com. And now let's get into the podcast. Yeah. So is it like live or is it? Do you no, no, edit? no. Oh. The, no, we we will we edit it ish. Ish. Like this right now, we'll probably end up on the podcast. Oh, okay. Because I don't know. It's more just kind of it gives the listener the um, uh, kind of like makes them feel like they're listening in on a uh, conversation kind of thing. Okay. So, but all right. So, welcome back, Nebrides. This is Andy, the Nebrides Podcast, and uh, we are super happy to be back at the Craft Beer Cellar on Main Street. Um, they had a little flooding issue when a gasket let go in their sprinkler system and flooded their basement where we normally record. But uh, they have new carpet down, fresh paint, place looks great. And uh, so we're back recording here. And God, it's probably like back in October. Uh, a friend of mine said, hey, you need to talk to this person because she's a face painter. And then I kind of cyber stalked her a little bit. And she's also a sculptor and artist in general. Uh, so we have Tracy... Figs? Sure. Sure. That works. Because I'm not going to try to pronounce your real last name. <laughs> it's Filioli, but it's... Filioli? Figs works just fine. All right. Yeah. So you are, I believe, the aunt of Caitlin Meyer? Uh, her, her mother is my cousin. Oh, okay. So kind of like a, you're family. Yeah. We're related. And uh, she's been on the podcast a few times. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I have started... I was basically brought... You brought to my attention because of your face painting work. Yes. Which is when I think when people think of that, they think of like I wouldn't call you a face painter. I'd call you more like a body painter because it, it just has a different connotation to it. Like face painter, I think of like oh, you paint little kids to look like Spider Man, right? Like at the county fair. Or yeah, something like that. and yeah. yours is way beyond that. Yeah. So, how did you get into that to that extent? Um. So, like, I kind of just got into it by accident. <laughs> it was one of those things where, like, I didn't really you ever... fell face first into, like, a makeup box, and you're like, oh, okay. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, well, I basically, like, started out by doing makeup professionally maybe six years ago. Um, just doing, like, beauty makeup and, like, you know, the kind of makeup that people would want to wear yeah. to, like, weddings and wedding. stuff like that. So Not... you would do, like, wedding prom, yeah. that kind of stuff? Yeah, and I'm... Um, but I also was, like, kind of getting inspired, like, just, like, on Instagram and stuff by other artists that were doing more outlandish, kind of out there makeup, like, drag queens and stuff like that. Yeah. But also, like, I saw a couple people that did face painting and body painting that was, like, the actual kind of stuff that I would want to do. Like, yeah. Like, not, you know. It, it's somewhere between <laughs> makeup and special effects. Right. Yeah. Um so yeah, I just was following people and I kind of was like, I don't even know if I'd be good at that. But one day, just randomly, I went on Amazon and bought a face painting kit and I was like, I'm just going to try it because I was kind of going through like a creative funk and I wanted to try like a different medium. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I got into it. 
And like, admittedly, the first few that I did were like pretty awful. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just kind of. But at the, at the time, you kind of caught the bug and. Yeah. So I just kept like working on it and um, doing my thing. And the more and like I started posting it on Facebook or like Instagram, and the more response I got, the more I was kind of inspired to just keep going and like right. trying new things. So. So. Like. The the ones I've seen have been mostly kind of like horror themed, like zombies yeah. and skeletons. And is that kind of like your your favorite thing to do? Like, um, or do yeah, I mean, I like to do fantasy like stuff too, um, like stuff that would be maybe considered kind of pretty in like a weird way. But yeah, a lot of the stuff I like to do is more like horror themed. Yeah, and I when I do book like freelance stuff, it tends to be mostly around Halloween. So yeah, I mm-hmm. definitely do more horror theme so stuff then do you do you work for like a haunted house like h- no. how, how do you find work in that field mm, self-promotion which admittedly i'm not the best at yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah just through like word of mouth um i do like work a regular job as well doing makeup so i talk to people like every day um so your regular but, day job is like in the makeup industry as well yeah i mean yeah like selling makeup in yeah. a store basically yeah but I also can talk to people and be like, oh, yeah, I do this on the side as well. Um, so, yeah, just, like, word of mouth and, like, also just through Instagram or Facebook. I yeah. promote, although, like I said, I'm not the best at it. Yeah, and and like you said, October is, like, your busy time of year. Do you get people, is it just, like, you know, Halloween parties and yeah, that basically. kind of thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, So, like, what is your favorite type of thing to work on like is there something that like i really want to do um anything that's like i don't know i like to just challenge myself and do new things like uh i haven't done that many full body paintings like i mostly do like face and like down to the chest yeah but the couple times i've had the opportunity to do like full that was really cool um, just because it's a little more of a challenge and also like time wise it's just like trying to get it done in within a reasonable amount of time for the model right because like how long would something like that take um i've had it take anywhere from like five to like eight hours yeah yeah and so is that for like a photo shoot or something like that because i feel like yeah uh, yeah the couple i've done were for photo shoots and then there was one that i did for like I when I was living down in Florida, I did um, a competition where we were like trying to get on a reality TV show. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't get on. Oh, was but, it like? Um, um... It wasn't Skin Wars. It was like I forget even the name of it. It was Global Beauty Masters. I weirdly don't think it's on TV now, but it was like groups of three, and somebody had to work on hair, somebody had to do nails, and somebody had to do makeup. And I did the makeup, and like I did a full body painting. Yeah. Yeah. And. S- and how far along in the audi- audition, I guess, process did you get? Like did We uh, got picked. We did, like, an so online... You, you had to, like, make a team. Yeah. I like, guess. we um, got picked. We did, like, an online entry, which got us to where we competed in Orlando, like, at a convention center. And uh, went oh, on stage the against, Orange like... Orange County Convention Center? Uh, n- no. Is it, it was, like, nine football fields? I don't know what it... It was yeah. called... Um, Orlando premiere, like it's like a big hair show they do like yeah. every year, like oh, for I think people I know within people the trades. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so yeah. <laughs> so you so you like did a video? You were saying sorry, I kind of cut you off by the convention center. Um, um, well, no, we were trying to get on a sh- TV show, right. but we were like up against I think like twelve other teams, and some other team w- got moved forward. But it was cool because it was actually like one of the first times I did like a full body painting on and somebody. How do you, when you're working on something like that, how do you begin? Like, what is your process? Do you come up with like an idea um, and then like coat the person in like a base color and then kind of build up from there? Or is it that doesn't? Yeah, I mean that doesn't work as well. I found out, but um, yeah. So what I'll usually do is get the idea and then I'll take like eyeliner or something like that and trace out the shapes oh, okay. and then kind of paint them in because the way that the body paint layers like it doesn't really it doesn't layer that well so you can't really like so you can't really do it. like a base yeah. yeah because then it's just going to get all diluted because they're mm-hmm. water activated paints 
Oh, basically, so when you paint one on top, your colors are going to get muddy and basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll like kind of sketch out the design on them first, and then put like certain colors where I want them to be, and then you can kind of like layer them lightly. But yeah, like I said, if you were to do like an all, it's not like you can gesso. No, you don't a like human. just paint them blue. And then <laughs> yeah, go, okay. yeah, it doesn't work. But um, and do you kind of like work out your idea first on like a template, or do you just kind of um, like off the cuff? Some I've done that very few times i kind of weirdly find it's easier just to like work on the person directly because obviously their face and their body is not flat Mm -hmm. so like i don't know when i've tried doing it on like a template like i don't usually follow it super religiously if i do that so i usually find just working directly on them is the way that i like to go and how much does the person's body shape like come into play um a pretty good amount like especially like i find if i'm doing like faces and stuff um like if i'm doing like a skull or something like definitely the person's bone structure and everything comes into play a lot Mm -hmm. um you know are there are there people that are more skull like and people who are more pumpkin like do you ever look at somebody oh for sure you're not gonna be a good skull like let's do a pumpkin (laughs) uh yeah you're a troll, and I mean that in a good way. <laughs> um, I mean, I try to be nice, but yeah, yeah. It's, but yeah, for sure. There's different like facial structures that support different designs better than others. I would say so. But I mean, if somebody wants to be a skull, I'm just gonna make them a skull, right, regardless. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, but you still kind of try to. So it's, it's a fine. I, I find it's a fine line between giving the customer what they want. And the best thing that you can give them at the, like, trying to find that. Yeah, you try to find that that, gray area or whatever. Um, So you're not just a face painter, which I found out Mm. from following you on Facebook. You sculpt amazingly well. Thank you. That's, like, something I just kind of weirdly picked up, like, recently. It's weird because not, not a lot of people sculpt, and a lot of times they do kind of kind of abstracty type pieces but yours are fairly photorealistic thank um, you i believe you're working on a dragon I, I i i forget you were asking about reference photos or something that's not right Mm-mm. i was doing um you did a dragon fairly recently right Mm-mm. so there's someone else that i was following <laughs> on facebook i swear to god i thought that was you but I do sculpt. But too. You do sculpt, so I'm not. So lying. maybe I'm not amazing. <laughs> Are you Somebody. sure? No, I'm pretty sure you sculpted a dragon. <laughs> no, I did like uh, a couple pieces like around Christmas time. Like I made a couple ornaments. Yeah. And like I'm. And you did a couple like figures recently, right? Mm-mm. No. No. Am I totally like confusing you with someone? Probably. Else? It's okay. Wow, my brain is horrible. <laughs> There's probably a lot of people on Facebook. That you, you should just. You for, should like, just your... be like, yeah, it's totally me. <laughs> Yes, so, my uh, work is fantastic. What do you, what, so what have you been sculpting? Tell us about that, because clearly I um, missed that. Somehow. So, I mean, I've only done a few pieces. Like I said, I'm kind of new to that medium. So, Or, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I did sculpt in high school, but that was like a billion years ago. So that doesn't really count. But, um, yeah, like recently I just was like, okay, I'm going to make some weird, creepy looking. I'm totally looking this up on Facebook, because I'm like, no, I know I saw something. <laughs> do it i'm doing it it's fine um yeah i made a couple creepy looking ornaments uh with like the crappiest cheapest clay that i could find it's like you don't have to like heat it up or anything like that it's that um i think it's called like magic clay or something it's like little kids Hmm. buy it but anyways i made a couple ornaments they were a former uh, sponsor i have sculpt i have like a weird problem where i hoard (laughs) you hoard (laughs) Um, sculpey no, I hoard like artist artistic uh, supplies, and then I don't use them. Oh but yeah, God. I have Sculpey. I, and anytime I go into Michael's and there's like clearance stuff, <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna buy that. And then yeah, I, I have a whole drawer it. of it. But yeah. and Sculpey is in there. But yeah, like I made a few ornaments, and they're creepy and look like monsters and have like big googly eyes. And then I painted them and uh, glazed them, and I put like weird furry hair on them. I don't know. I only did a few of them, but that's kind of like the gist of all the sculpting sculpting I've done recently. That's really weird because I somehow totally got you confused. So I'm, I'm looking here at your <laughs> thing, uh, and this is a very cool patchwork 
person that you did here. This uh-huh. is a body painting, not a sculpting. Right, yes. Uh, <laughs> so so this is looks like it's maybe like a torso up. Yeah. That was me. Uh, that was you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so how do you even work on yourself? Okay, so that's um that, that's so that's part of like the other thing of why I got into it is because I have like really bad um, insomnia. So like that will be like a late night weird, just like. So you were ju- that was just cause. Yeah, just cause. Cause I was like, well, it's getting close to Halloween, so I'm just gonna practice on me because I'm here. So. Is that harder or easier? Because I feel like it's cause both. You must do it in the mirror, so everything's backwards. It's easy when I get when it's just my face. It's harder as I get further down my chest because then it's like that's where the backwards thing kind of comes into play more. Like I do my makeup all the time in the mirror, like regularly. Oh, I suppose yeah. Then you would get so kind it's of not. Used to that. Yeah, but like basically. going down here where you have to like like you can't really see like so you yeah you can't really but you can kind of that kind of thing yeah so that part is where it gets harder on yourself. Uh, Sometimes it's easier to do my own makeup, I find, but, like, obviously if you're doing a big full body thing, it's easier to do it on somebody else because you can reach and see everything. Because you can't do your own back. Yeah, because you can't do your own back. (laughs) Exactly. I don't think that's a thing. No. Um, So what's kind of, like, your dream? Like, where do you want to take this? Like, Um, do you think it's something that you could do, like, an art show with? I mean, that would be cool. Yeah, I mean, I think I don't have, like, a super crystal cut, clear vision of, like, how I want to do it, but I think, ideally, eventually, I would like to just be able to, like, make art and do, make a living off of that. Yeah. You know? And just do my own thing. I think that's a dream. Everybody wants that. Pretty much, yeah. When, um... Obviously, it hasn't happened yet. I'm still working. (laughs) Join the club. Yeah. Um, so you are a, a... Plymouth resident from forever uh well yeah I grew up here I moved away for I mean I just moved back not this September last September were you kind of looking for a while there was like a lot of talk where they're going to open a movie studio in Plymouth were you like looking at that as like a no no like, no I didn't even know that um, oh okay I don't really watch TV which is weird but yeah I um but no I was just going to move home back anyways just because I hadn't lived here since, like, 2004. Yeah. And I just kind of missed it, so. But is that something that, like, are you, do you want to do kind of, like, movie makeup, special effects? It would be cool, yeah. I mean, I would like that. I don't think, like you said, I I, I don't quite do special effects makeup. Like, it's not really classified that, so right. I don't know. I'd but have to learn the whole. It's pretty incredible, because, like, looking at that, it almost looks three-dimensional. Thank you. Um, where if I just kind of went, hey, check that out, and you know, showed you real quick, it, you'd be hard pressed to be like a, whether it was three dimensional or, or, or right. Um, have you used like prosthetics and and stuff like that? No, no, no. I mean, I wouldn't be against it. I just don't. I think building them and everything is incredible. It's also really time consuming, and mm-hmm. like I don't have any formal training. Yeah, in that so. But I mean, I would I would be down to learn it for sure. And, and so you mentioned formal training. Did you go to like beautician school? Like, where would you learn? I don't even know where. Uh, I do think they do have schools for. I'm well, sure I know they, they special do. effects schools, but I they're mean, not like, like, around I'm, here. But I'm, <laughs> I'm you specifically for what you do now. Did oh, you no. go to like a, a beautician school? Is it just something that you've picked up along the way? I went to beauty school, like to cut hair, like in 97 it didn't really have any like bearing on what i do today though so yeah yeah i mean i just kind of picked up what i do just playing around and and what's like your best resource do you are you like pinterest or youtube like um i mean i guess instagram i mean i I don't i kind of learned a lot of it just from trial and error um but yeah for like inspiration and like yeah i uh instagram mostly yeah yeah and so if someone wanted to kind of like do a similar thing like do you have recommendations like what would are there Um, so you said you bought a a a face painting kit mm -hmm. off of amazon yeah was that like oh this stuff was great and you just happened to walk into the the nice product right off the bat or 
or did you kind of like it, no it's actually and- a good it's a good kit it's mayron um paradise paints because there was a couple people that i followed and like i that like i said we're doing makeup that i thought was really cool and i looked to see like what they said that they used and so i was like ah they have this on amazon it's 90 bucks <laughs> i might as well try buying it um and yeah i mean i've replaced that's pretty much what i use though yeah yeah i use mayron so you've painted caitlin for photo yes. shoots uh, you made Jeff and a Freddy Krueger. Yeah, both that was fun. Past <laughs> podcast guests. I don't feel like oh, Jeff those... was on here too. Oh yeah, I didn't he, know had that. A, he had his own podcast for a little while. Nice. They keep saying they're going to record new episodes, but you know they're busy guys. They are busy. Um, <laughs> but I don't feel like making him into Freddy Krueger was a big challenge. Um, <laughs> oh, what did uh, the AJ say? As long as I say shout out to Jeff, then whatever I say about him doesn't count. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to um, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, so is that like what do you find more enjoyable is it when someone uses it as a costume is it for a photo shoot like what's your favorite aspect of it um either way i mean i think photos are probably like the best way <laughs> that they're seen because i don't know i mean it's on your face so like wearing it for hours on end is probably you know not always the best is there a way to deal with the itch no <laughs> so if you're gonna get your face painted it's just gonna itch just, you just be prepared to be uncomfortable yeah. the entire time um yeah. and where do you find inspiration for these things like i i, I know you've done caitlin with kind of like almost like a weirdly pink skeleton mm-hmm. and then you had your patchwork one that you did on yourself i mean obviously jeff uh Freddy Krueger is from a movie, so that is right. Is so that I used to like. Is that easier than coming up with something of your own? That was harder, just because like I think if you're when I'm doing my own thing, like nobody knows what it's supposed to look like, but everyone knows what Freddy Krueger looks like. So right. if you don't do it justice, like you know, so yeah, I mean, I think doing my own thing is a little bit easier because if it doesn't look awesome, like. <laughs> nobody knows what it's supposed to look like anyways, right right you so, know? so they have nothing to compare it to right um but yeah i just i think a lot of the things that i get inspired from like are just random things like the first skull that i ever did like i kind of just looked at like a tattoo of a skull for like reference mm-hmm. and just kind of like went off that and i mean it looked totally different obviously being on my face right that it did on you know a tattoo but um but yeah, I just pull inspiration from different things. Um, like Pusshead is like a huge inspiration. Oh God, Pusshead! Yeah, I haven't heard that name in for ages. Uh, I mean, forever. I don't think I knew how to draw draw a skull until I like saw his work. So yeah, but yeah, and for anyone like who that. doesn't know who Pusshead is, like look at a Metallica T shirt. Yeah, yeah, basically. But yeah, just like different things, different artists inspire me. Yeah. Like who else other than Pusshead? Um, like Mitch O'Connell. Um, I'm gonna draw a blank now. Um, Tara McPherson. Mm-hmm. Like, why don't I know? And other, people? other, and others, and others. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah, uh, it's normal. It's, it's the normal. same. It's the same yeah. type of thing when you have a list of like CDs you want, and then you go and then you go to a store, store and, and you're like, like, I can't think of anybody. What music that do I, want I like? Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, I know I like music. <laughs> I just can't think of anything. Yeah, air supply, they're good, right? <laughs> um, sorry to our air supply fans. Um, so, is there difference between male working on a, 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 a male opposed to a female? Is one easier or harder? Do you um, try to gear towards? I feel like if you're going to work on a guy, they want to be scary. Oh yeah, want to be pretty. Like, do you have to take that into account? Yeah, in a way, it's like. Yeah, guys are definitely different. Their facial structure. In a way, it's cool because, like, I've never had a guy be upset because they didn't look pretty. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Have you had Cause... people, like, upset? Cause... No, not really. No. no. But, um, but yeah, so with guys, it's, like, the more... You can kind of almost take it further because the uglier and scarier they look, like, the better. With girls, like, even if you're doing something that's, like, kind of considered creepy, you want them to look like... They still want to be pretty. For the most part. Yeah. Like, I want to be pretty, but scary. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Um, and so, 
like how is there a different color palette that you would use like how do you determine uh, like so like how do you walk that line if i'm working on like a client um like i'll ask them like what kind of colors they like sometimes they'll just give me like complete you know freedom and they'll be like do whatever you want um other times they'll be like i want you know to be like a half face skull and like some blue or some you know so i just kind of like go with it but I generally like the ones that I create <laughs> better. Like, I, I don't know. That's why a lot of the ones that I have online are just ones I've done on myself, because then, like, I can just do whatever I want. Yeah. Have you had any, like, really horrible nightmare clients that just... Not really with that. I mean, honestly, like, with doing, like, beauty makeup, I've had worse <laughs> experiences just because, you know, bridezillas and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. So you have to deal... Or, like, girls going to prom and stuff and want their makeup done. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's more scary than doing the scary makeup? Basically. Oh, man. Yeah. That, that's something. Um, <laughs> so you said you, you're inspired by these artists. Do you find inspiration from other avenues, music or, or movies? Or, like, when you watch a movie, do you see, like, a monster, creature, alien or something? Be like, oh, hey, that's... That gave me an idea, or I should kind of, like, tweak that a little bit, or just uh, file that away. Occasionally. I really don't watch that many movies, so I don't really watch TV. It's like a root, like, I can't, like, focus long enough to sit still. I just get, like, bored, so. Well, <laughs> I feel like you have to be able to focus to sit still long enough to paint your torso. Well, because then I'm doing something. Yeah. I feel like I have this weird sort of guilt, like, if I'm, like, actually watching TV or, like, a movie because I feel like I should be doing something productive. Oh, I get that. So. Uh, all, oh, God. All the time. Where, yeah. you, where you'll have a day where you, like, Netflix binge, and then at the end of the day, you just feel like a horrible person because yeah, you're like, oh, I didn't basically. do anything. Yeah. 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 So. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I get inspired by different... Th- I mean, I've even, like, seen, like, cartoons and stuff or, like, illustrations and kids' books that have, like, something cool in it that I'm like, oh, like, I want to put something like that in something that I paint, you know? And do you carry this painting over beyond painting on people and just painting on canvas or draw? Occasionally. I find, like... <laughs> I-, I like actually painting, like, canvases and stuff, but I find, like... I get distracted too easily, so... So what um, is it about working on a person? Opposed, is you it, have is to it the- finish them, because they're going to eventually oh. <laughs> want to eat something, okay. or they're going right. to eventually want to go to the bathroom, or, like, they're going to, you it's, know... It's, it's that, So like, it's, like... It's you, easy to take care of kids, because they say they're hungry, so you feel... So, like, you have that person kind of there that you're, you you have. Right. You're, you're like, okay, I can't you just, like, let do half them of in your the face. Leave them in the corner and be like, oh, I'll get to And then be like, man, I'm going to go later, take a nap. like, wow, Steve's really dusty. I should finish him. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, with painting, like on canvases, I totally like have that thing where like I'll just get distracted and I'll be like, yeah. Not canvases. I, just, I started like two years ago. Yeah, I have ones that I have even longer than that. Yeah. That just. It, I'm like, I should finish that. I just look at it. It's been there like, for like eight I, years. I can't. It's not even. It's not even done to the point where I can be like, I don't like it. It's. Oh. It's so like barely started that I'm just like, well, yeah. Well, I'll get back to that at some point. Exactly. I did it for a reason. Some. For some. At some point, there was a purpose behind it. So, yeah, I guess when you have a person looking at you as you do it. Right. They're like, uh, I have stuff to do after this. Right. (laughs) Chop, chop. Let's go. I got to get to a party or photo shoot or something. Um, Now, do models reach out to you or do photographers reach out to you? I've mostly had, like, models reach out to me so far. And do you list yourself on, like, uh, Model Mayhem or anything like that? No, I'm so bad. Like I said, I'm so bad at like self promotion. I'm like, I probably should. That sounds like a great idea. I love these people. Who are like, I want to do this as a business. Oh wait, yeah, I should like I should put probably, myself out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's always that. It's it's one of those hard things where you're like, oh yeah, I should do that, and I'd probably get more business. And then it's yeah. just trying to find the time to do it to make yeah. it happen. It's exactly it. And I mean, yeah. I have kids and stuff, so that's a great excuse too. <laughs> do your do your kid do you are your kids ever like, mommy, make me a zombie? No. <laughs> no? They're not no. into it? Or? They just don't sit still. I have two boys. They're, I mean, oh, so, I've yeah, I painted them, them before, really, yeah. but I mean, they are like me and they don't like to sit still for that long. So, Yeah. It's, and I feel like 
this may sound sexist, but I feel like, excuse me, I feel like uh, girls are more likely to want that sort of thing. Is it- yeah. Do you do more females as opposed to men? Yeah, I would say overall. I mean, I've definitely, like, for Halloween and stuff, obviously, I've done, like, guys that want to be scary, so. But yeah. I've done definitely more girls' makeups, for sure. And you don't get a lot of guys being like, I'm going to prom, make me pretty. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would actually be cool, but yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, speaking of, was it last... It's still burning my brain, and I will probably take it to my grave in the horrible, horrible nightmares that it's caused. I don't know if you saw Jeff dress as Caitlyn. I did see that. It was horrifying. I'm sorry. It, yeah. You, wait, sorry. Were you involved in that? No. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just sorry that you had it to see that. It was bad, man. <laughs> And Didn't like, you win the contest or something? I don't know, though? but I feel like they kept posting it like over and over and they over. They sent me a Christmas card with him on it dressed uh, it that, was, like that. It, it was... <laughs> it was like borderline Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs creepy. Because it wasn't like, oh, it's a guy in drag, whatever. Done badly. It was just like <laughs> strangely scary. He seemed to like it a little too much in a weird sort of way. So you're saying you liked it better when he was like Freddy Krueger? Oh, yeah. It was much better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. He was less frightening as Freddy Krueger than he was as Caitlin. <laughs> and I don't know why that is. And I don't know if it's because I know him, but it just it it really was like you're like man, it was like a car accident. Don't like do it's that. horrible. I can't look away. It's horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> hey Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Meyer, the Jam Pack Podcast. Check it out. Um, <laughs> so, do you ever f- have those? creepy things cross over with the bride slash prom thing are there like oh i would love that gothy chicks that no. be like <laughs> make me look pretty and scary for I my wish. special day no i i mean i wish that was the case but yeah no it's always people that are like i have this picture of um caitlin or not caitlin jenner oh my god kylie <laughs> i don't even know one of the Kardashians. You Everybody could, wants you could to look. Make it up. I don't like. I've heard all their names. I don't know who they are. Yeah, I wish I didn't know. Yeah, but yeah, but you do. But I do. <laughs> <laughs> so people really bring like I don't. Yeah, it's weird because I'm like you do see that your face does not look like her face, but you want me to make you. And look I feel like, like they're such a punchline that I can't believe that anyone looks at them seriously. But yeah. so how do you explain to someone that? You can't look like... I'm going to have to reference someone I know. And this is going to super date me. You can't look like Jennifer Aniston. Um, because you're not. not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I could be super mean, but I'm not going to be. Because, like, that would be me, like, walking in and being like, make me look like Brad Pitt. Right. And you'd be like, no. <laughs> and yeah, I'd be like, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Silent Bob? How about Silent Bob? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you have to kind of do it ca- uh, tactfully. Mm. Or I'll be like, um, so what do you, like, what about the picture do you, like, really want me to try to make look like? You know what I mean? Sometimes it won't even be, like, that they want to look like her. It'll be like, I like her eyeshadow. I'm like, okay, well, I can do that. Yeah. They're not like, I want to be, like, a self-absorbed, socialite, rich right. person that yeah. is out of touch with the world. They don't ask for that? Not specifically. <laughs> No. Because I feel like it's a pretty accurate explanation of that for those people. Yeah. Because when I first heard about it, I'm like, why are they famous? And they're like, well, they're famous because they're famous. Yeah, I, I I don't really know how to wrap my head around it either. No. It's like... uh, if you could do makeup for a famous person. Oof. Um, sure. <laughs> Kylie? No. Kate, she would Kate, never ask is, me. <laughs> is it Caitlyn Jenner? I think that's the one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of them is married to the. Um, oh God, what's his name? Kim. Kim is married to some guy who's also a musician. Who Kanye? Never, yeah, <laughs> that guy. I know all of this. Like, th- I, wow, you're like I, way more involved in this. Than no, me. I'm really not. Though you, well, you know about it. All of the knowledge I have of them is like 
been given to me against my will. Because there's a show. <laughs> I know there's a show. I'm aware of that. That they're all on a show. Yeah. Is Kanye on the show? I don't even know. I don't know. I've never watched the show. I don't watch TV. I'm so, but if I did... Let me explain to you how out of touch I am. Uh, this was maybe like four or five years ago. A bunch of friends of mine are like, hey, let's go to Wahlburgers. I'm like, oh, that's Marky Mark's place. Sure. So we go to... And it was okay. Like, nothing to write home about. It was a good burger. Right. And I was like, oh my god, it's Paul. It's Paul. I'm like, who's Paul? And they're like, from the show. I'm like, what show? And they're like, there's a show called Wahlburgers. I'm like, really? There's a show? I didn't know that either. I had absolutely no idea that there was a whole Marky Mark and the Funky Burger show or whatever it's called. That's amazing. That's what the show should be called. They have totally missed an opportunity. That should be it. Yeah. Because I'd watch it. I mean, he's been in movies, but yeah, I didn't know there was a show. You didn't? There's a Wahlburgers show. You didn't know? I don't watch TV. I'm telling you. I don't either. (laughs) Like, people expected me to know what this is. They got their picture taken with this guy, Paul, apparently. He's ri- Paul. a brother. He's brother. apparently a big deal. He's a brother. He's on the show. He, he's the best, the third most talented Wahlberg. I don't know, but there's, like, some guy. I didn't know there guy. was even a brother, Paul. So there's some guy on the show whose band plays sort of locally, and people will go to see this guy's band because he's on the Marky Mark and the Funky Burger show. Mm. I'm going to keep saying that until I get a cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> You think that'll happen? I don't know. Is it better than Marky Mark and the Burger Bunch? Oh, oh. shit. That's a tough one. I know, right? I like the Burger Bunch. The but burger Funky Burger is good, too. Yeah, but you, you can't do both. No. no. The Funky Burger Bunch? See, it's too long. <laughs> don't tell me how long the title of my show has to be. <laughs> Andy, Andy, and the Funky Burger Bunch. No. <laughs> so I have to open up a burger shop now. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I might be able to make a burger. I don't know. You go get the frozen patty and slap it on the grill. and Yeah, I don't feel like that's it. No. no. I wouldn't compete with Kate Katie's. <laughs> um, so, Marky Mark. Yeah. Was a person. I feel was like... Was a person. <laughs> is a is, person. Still is. Yeah. Well, I don't think he's... But I, I feel like we're, we're relatively in the same age range. Because you mentioned 97, you were going to... Yeah, I'm 41. Okay, so I'm a little... I got a couple of years on you. Okay. Um, what music were you listening to when Marky Mark was... Um, uh, I can't even remember the name of the song. He had, like, one song. Yeah, he did have one um, song. What was the name of the song? Fish Thing It. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was... Uh, it was Good Vibration. Yeah, that's what it was. I actually oh, know the name see? of the song. But that wasn't I what I was listening to. I don't anything about... <laughs> But yeah, uh, right. I wasn't listening to that. Is you more of a metal kid? Kind of, yeah. A mix of everything. Not everything. That's such That's a, a cop out. That's such a cop out. You just lie. said you don't listen to Marky Mark, so you can't so say not everything. everything. Um, what did I listen to when I was... When, how old was I? 13? I think I listened to, like, Faith No More and, like... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, one of my all-time favorites. And like, Ween and, like... I love Ween. I love Ween. I saw, I saw Faith No... Well, I saw Faith No More open up for Billy Idol at Great Woods. That's really random. Billy Idol and Faith No More? That that was, like, their... that That's when Epic came out. That that's was, like, awesome. their first major tour. Uh, and then I saw Mr. Bungle awesome. at Avalon... It was either a- Axis or Avalon. I can't remember in Boston. I think they're like right next to each other. Are they even yeah, still there anymore? No, no, no. Okay, Great Woods isn't there. Shows anymore. you how often I yeah. get out. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're right next to each other. But I, I saw them there. Great shows. I bet. And uh, they play. Faith No More played last summer. I just didn't get a chance to go see them. I didn't either. I was a little bummed out about that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So needless. To say. I'm super happy. Someone's like my age range, and you I can, can like talk to about. Music yeah, you, you know, it's not like late night. Not. Oh, Marky rock. Mark, and the not Marky, funk, and, yeah, you know, Faith and More, Faith and More, great band, great yeah. band. I mean, I don't like to watch videos of them now because they look old. Um, I know. I don't know. Tell us, it's because it's they're probably old. Can you mute your mic for a second? I, I can't. I choose yeah. not to. Thanks. <laughs> um, I can mute yours though. Yeah. Well, the, what show would there be? <laughs> it's Tracy Monolahi. It'd be yeah. fantastic. Uh, I highly doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> So, you're obviously metalhead. If you liked Faith No More, that was yeah. That was that kind of weird. Like that was the era where 
it kind of got lumped into like rap and metal kind of becoming one even though they weren't really yeah, they, they, was they were like one of the only bands that did it good because then there was a whole bunch of really bad ones that came yeah. out afterwards yeah oh like. oh yeah there's, well anytime there's anything there's a lot of bad bands that come out yeah but there was like them and the chili peppers kind of had a similar thing going on and then before they, they hated each other i heard that <laughs> uh, a friend of mine that we were discussing at length at, on a past podcast because i could not remember his name his name is rob gates um from high school he was a huge chili peppers fan and o- almost didn't like me because i liked faith no more oh, that's great because there was some sort of feud between them that i didn't really understand because yeah. I, don't, I don't know whether because i think um Anthony, the guy from um, Chili Anthony, Peppers. Anthony Kiedis. Yes, he accused like Faith No More of like stealing their style or something right. like that. And, like is, tried to sue, sue them or something. It's very, sh- I wouldn't say it's very different, but I almost feel like, I feel like Chili Peppers gave up on their style. Because like if you listen to their early stuff, it's way different. Than oh, yeah. Their stuff now is like very ballad and Yeah. Like once they hit, was it Under the, under the Bridge? Mm-hmm. Everything went in that direction. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Sad. Yeah. Sad times. <laughs> Sad times, fish. I'm sorry. All right. my, my thoughts and prayers. <laughs> I've also seen chili <laughs> in this difficult time of reminiscing about how '90s bands aren't what they used to be because it's been because they're old decades. now. No one likes him. We we get we get oodles of emails being like, "Hey, fish is kind of a douchebag. Can you tell him to shut up?" I can totally see that. Yeah. yeah. See? Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> She's welcome on the podcast anytime. What, are you going to mute her mic now, too? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Um, so, like, what's next? Like, what do you, what do you, do you have plans? What do you, no. <laughs> That's a no. What's that? Uh, I don't know. But I'm now's gonna... the time to plan. What about an art show? Do an art show. I could, I could do that. I don't know anybody around here that does, like, art shows. Yeah. I mean, did you know anyone who does art shows? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure I could track someone down. I, I can. Make I feel some calls. like uh, I can ask make some around. calls. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you know, <laughs> we know one or two people. A few. Yeah, I, I think I know a couple of people. I can probably find some space. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, we could probably do like a body art. Yeah, thing. Yeah, we could totally do thing. that. Thing. That'd be cool. Feature some body painting, tattoos. Yeah. Tattoos. Yeah. We fall into body art. Yeah, we do a body art show. We yeah. know. Body Pe- artists, we know some we know people. Tattoo artists. Yeah. We'll I'll be down. Some, yeah. 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 Great. We're committing to something else that we don't have time to do. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's Along we, with all the other that's uh, what we do, canvases you know? sitting in the corner. <laughs> half yes, done. But those don't cry out <laughs> when you leave them alone. You're like, feed me. I need to pee. Yeah. No, no one comes to your door if you're neglecting your paintings. It's true. It's true. That, see, that is my big thing where people are like, Oh, my dog is just like a child. And like, no, it's not. You can leave your dog alone. Yeah, you can leave a three-year-old dog alone for for most of a day. You Pretty leave much. a three-year-old person alone. They take it away. It's, it's your lap. It's, yeah. yeah, it's kind of a one striking your kind of thing. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So Big difference. Yeah. Do your kids lean towards the arts? Uh, Somewhat. Yeah. They're, like, at the age where they love video games, so that's So they're we're human. At. Yes, they're like, human adult. Well, no, human children, boys. Yeah, into adult and. But you yeah, know, they like you know it's going to be really interesting, and I just thought of this now. I think we are ten to fifteen years away from like nursing homes needing video games. That'll be really interesting because you figure, and I hate to say this. <laughs> that like my generation is going to be like the first generation be like oh you're going to send me to a nursing home does it have Sega I mean oh, like man. Sega <laughs> shut up you're not that much younger than me just because Sega hasn't made a system in like three generations doesn't they're, they're old they're old and they're infirmed I don't think it's right I that you make Coleco fun Vision of their I when I was a child yeah so did I oh dude no yeah. what was the one I wanted I wanted in television now she's squinting at me like she doesn't know what Intellivision is. God damn it. It's only three years. You're three years younger it's than me. You should vital, know what Intellivision is. It's a vital is. three years, Andy. So it had like 
it had this weird controller where it had a joy like a little short joystick at the top and then like a telephone keypad what and then you slid like plastic overlays over the the telephone keypad depending on which game so you when you got the game you'd get like a cassette and these two plastic overlays and they would slide into the controller and they would do different things it's lost me <laughs> god damn it Apparently, I'm the oldest person. So, you are the oldest Fish, when you, when you put me into a retirement home, for Andy, I, I just want a television. Andy, Andy. What? I'm not putting you into a I home. I just want a television, Fish. It's your, not too much to ask. Your kids are going to put you into a home. I'm not. My I youngest son asked me the other day, like, what memes were popular when I was his age. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how did that conversation go? No, you're fine. like, online wasn't a thing. <laughs> it's like, well, there was, yeah. was Fredo Lives, and... <laughs> Let's see, there was, um... And, and, there uh, was the War Games, Would You Like to Play a Game? It wasn't a meme, but it was the only thing that even referenced online. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Andy, wow. back in your day, memes were analog. They were scrawled on the. It's like that yeah, you had to you had to draw it every yeah, single time. It was like that stupid S. You had to draw like the little kid with holding his fist up in success. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's it's having kids. So how old are your kids? Nine and eleven. Oh, it's going to get real interesting. Oh God, I know. mine are I'm making ready for mine it. are making adult jokes and references, and I'm like, oh dear God. How and old are yours? Fourteen and sixteen, which. In <laughs> retrospect, I'm like, yeah, I was doing that too, but not to my dad. <laughs> and it's just like true. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, it's uh, so I'm gonna tell the story because fuck it, he listens to the podcast, he knows what I say. Uh, hey, Liam, shout out to Liam. Um, <laughs> You're supposed to say it after. Well, I'm not really things. insulting him, so it's not really a thing. It's just a story, and um, and uh, so he's. We're out to lunch one day, and he's like, oh, I'm really kind of bummed out. They canceled the senior shirts. And uh, I'm like, senior shirts? He's like, yeah, the senior class sells shirts, and I wanted to get one. And they're, like, funny. And I'm like, well, why did they cancel them? He's like, oh, it was, like, on the news and stuff. And I'm like, whoa, what? It was on the <laughs> news? What did it say? He's like, oh, it said, like, class of 2019. It had a picture of a car, and it said, pulled out just in time. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> How? Why do you know that's funny? <laughs> Amazing. And then he's like, oh, yeah, last year's – they oh, on the news, they had a picture of the uh, principal with the class shirt on that said, class of 2018, it's great to be on top. And, like, the parent in me is like, oh, my God, my poor children. But then, like, I was in it's high like, school, too. That yeah. was, I thought it was hilarious. It would have been super funny. Yeah. And I would have worn it. And so I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get the shirt, too. Yeah. But, you, well, know. you know, you could always just make him the shirt. There were never any class shirts that I wanted to have when I was in high school. No, because so. they were lame. They totally. didn't. They didn't say pull out just in time. I, I don't remember the B class shirt when I was in high school. Speaking of shirts in high school, I got into. I didn't really even get into trouble, but like everyone was like, "Oh, you're gonna get into so much trouble" because I wore Faith No More T-shirt to school, oh. and it said on the back, "You fat bastard." And people were like, "Oh, it's got a swear on it," but like that was the '90s. We wore like alcohol yeah. shirts and. There was there was no rules. It was bedlam. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nobody got in trouble. Yeah. No one ever. But not now. Do your homework, Liam. <laughs> and thanks for listening. Dad loves you. <laughs> <laughs> it is the weekend. He probably doesn't have homework. Or maybe well, it's not live. This yeah, one no, goes oh, till Monday. Yeah. 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 No, on Monday. Just kidding. He's gonna go on Monday. Monday. Yeah. Do your homework. Do your yeah. homework, Liam. Don't do it, Liam. Fight the power. And you're right. Zoe's adopted. She doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> The best part is he will hear this in like six months because he like binges these things. Man. So I'll hear about this in six months. Yeah. And you won't have any idea what you're talking about. Pretty much. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Because my memory is like goldfish level. It's awesome. Um, so where can people go online to find um, your stuff? So Obviously Instagram. Yeah. Instagram and Facebook. Um, my name is the same on both of them. Tracy L. Figs. Because nobody can spell my actual last name. So. I couldn't even pronounce it. I gave up. Yeah, exactly. So, Tracy so L. Figs. I, I'm pretty sure every time you told With me, it's e pronounced different. It's filioli. I feel like you said it's that. Italian, See, you don't I feel, no, pronounce I the feel G. like you said that different last time. Filioli. Yeah, no. Figlioli. Something. No. I feel like it's different. Every time. I'm just making up names at this point. Pretty much. Yeah. 
I'm Irish. O'Leary. Smith. No, Smith's not really I'm Irish. half Irish. Yeah. But not your last name. Just Clearly. the Tracy part. Clearly. Yeah. So, uh, Tracy Elfigs, they can find you. Yes. Um, and obviously, you're if they are local to the Plymouth area, they can book you. Yeah. Or even, like, not local to the Plymouth area. Oh, I travel. But then there's, like, plane tickets and hotel rooms and <coughs> that these people are going to be paying you for. Yeah. I mean, I've driven up to Lake New Hampshire. I'm probably actually going up there tonight, maybe. Yeah. Nice. Maine. Well, uh, we, we get downloaded in a lot of places, so... I mean, you could be volunteering to go to Nigeria. So, cool. I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> get your passport ready. Um, yeah, we have a state listener in Nigeria. Really? Yeah. Hi. Hey, Nigeria! Hello. Shout out to Nigerian. We didn't even insult <laughs> you yet. So, yeah. Um, and uh, so, just a quick wrap up kind of question: mm-hmm. What's the worst part about working on somebody? So like a pet peeve, or is there just like, um, I mean, is it bad breath? Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I feel like bad breath could be smells. a real problem. <laughs> Can be a problem, but I mean, or just like even just if they just have a really horrible attitude and it like makes it painful to do it. Do you have to? It, do you have to take into consideration if they have like, you know, some sort of skin condition or like dry skin or like does I that mean, come up? If their skin's dry, I mean, yeah, you just prep their skin differently with just, like, moisturizer and stuff like that. I mean, unless it's, like, I would think that if they had, like, a crazy, like, skin condition or if it's, like, something. Like, uh, (laughs) Higgins disease? I don't know what that is. Did I get that right? I don't think so. Leprosy? Hanson's? Hanson's, damn it! I was so close. Yeah, sorry. I, mean, I was trying to. I was trying to out. I'm not fish. a doctor. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's something crazy, I'm I was probably... really just trying to out nerd fish. Okay, and I failed. So, damn it. But yeah, I mean, I guess just difficult clients would just be if they smell bad or have a horrible attitude. So or, it's more personality than yeah, anything else. Because sometimes like, you work on people and like they're really cool to talk to, and then other times like they just sit there and. I don't know. It's just like hard to work on them because I, I feel like I would be afraid to move. Yeah, it, it's it seems like it's tough to have a conversation with someone while you're trying to paint. actively paint it. Ooh, yeah. Do you ever get that where like, they won't shut stop up? <laughs> I've had that. Yeah. On this. yeah, I mean, there's like a good um, middle ground. I'd say you don't want them moving around and talking so much that you can't work on them. But sometimes if like they just seem like annoyed by the whole thing and they just sit there like. Are we done yet? Like that's not Me. fun either. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, just don't be just a be dick. cool. Don't, don't be, a, be dick. a dick. Yeah. That's all. All right. Fair enough. That's great life advice. Yes. I feel that's not mine, but I feel like I probably stole that <laughs> someone else's. I didn't coin that phrase. Uh, but thanks for coming to hang out with us. Thank man. you for having me. Yeah. And cool. uh, enjoy your trip to the frozen north. Yes. Because they probably have snow. I don't want to think about it. Well, you're choosing to go up there. No one's. It's. My best friend lives there. I'm not going to not go. <sighs> well. I'm going to freeze. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. It's going to be cold. It'll be all right. All right. You'll, you'll, you'll manage. Yeah. All right. So, uh, paint a shrunken head. Okay. I don't this know. is just, a request. Yeah. I just wanted to see that. I just said uh, that just now. Maybe I'll try sculpting one. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. That works too. And it will be like an actual sculpting that you've seen and not somebody else's i swear to god like i feel so (laughs) stupid i'm like partly because i'm like oh i thought that was you and now i'm like who the fuck was i talking to (laughs) probably some incredible artist not me (laughs) because like i'm like i was totally talking to someone they sculpted a dragon i swear to god i thought it was you and now it's like who was i talking part of the problem is i talk to a lot of people they all start to blend in together what can you You do you could lie to me and i'd have been like oh great Cool. So, all right. Well, let's go. Yeah, because that'd be cool. Shrunken okay. heads. Shrunken heads are cool. They are. They're gonna be like the next thing. I have a plastic one, like in my kitchen, randomly. Yeah. I mean, there were vampires in the eighties, then zombies. I think shrunken heads are gonna be the next thing. It could be a cool. I thing. don't really know how you're gonna make movies and shows about shrunken heads, but it's not gonna be much of a plot. It's it's not the head. It's the shrinking that's the issue. It's the person who shrinks it. Yeah, the head yeah. shrinker. I'm gonna write that story right now. The head shrinker. A psych- uh, psychiatrist that shrinks heads. Get it? 
All right, so that's about it. <laughs> it it's fine. That's where, I'll ins- that's where I'll put in the uh, laugh track and the uh, rim shot. Okay. That would be awesome to have a laugh track. Uh, so thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Uh, don't forget to check out our other podcast. Uh, there's the Bar Talk podcast. There's Old Colony Cast, and of course the Inebriar Art Podcast, along with Jam Packed. Um, you can find all those on Stitcher, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, pretty much anywhere podcasts are found. Um, if you're on some sort of service and you can't find it, let us know, and we'll help you out, and or add our podcast to that too. Um, you can contact us at inebriart at yahoo.com and follow us on Facebook as well as Twitter at inebriart. And feel free to send us some um, tips, ideas, advice, hate mail, whatever it is. You can get us there. And again, thanks for listening.